Houston, we have a problem. In 2015, Halyard had a problem. Our inventory levels had grown to over $350 million. This is compared to a historical average of only about $315 million. But at the same time, our open back orders were at $5 million. Now traditionally, we would battle high back orders with additional inventory. Time and time again in the past, this was the trend and had worked, but this time, that was not true. In fact, having both too much inventory and service issues at the same time told us that we as Halyard were out of control. Our supply chain team did a problem solve and determined that the only way this could happen was if our inventories were severely out of mix. If we were indeed this far out of mix, the question was, how did this happen? Three direct causes for this problem were identified. Poor customer demand predictability, poor production planning, and poor adherence to a production plan. Our hypothesis was that if we could manage these three areas effectively, our inventory would get back into mix and we would not only improve service, but also reduce global inventories. To act on our hypothesis, the team developed the concept of the four conformances. They started with conformance number one, which was our forecast conformance. This measures how accurately we're capturing what our customers want. If we don't have a good demand signal going to the planners, they won't know what to produce. The demand team worked on improving our forecast accuracy through the SNOP process, as well as utilizing our newly implemented OMP software. Using this conformance, accuracy improved by greater than two percentage points in 2016. Conformance number two was our planning conformance. This measures how accurately we're creating plans to meet customer demand while still managing our inventory. Once we improved our demand signal, it was up to our planners to create good production plans. We needed a way to measure the quality of the plans, looking at the mix and the overall inventory levels. We needed the planners to plan to target, but found we had many gaps that needed to be addressed, such as capacity utilization, skew master data accuracy, and lack of trust between cross-functional teams. These issues were highlighted through the planning conformance and addressed. The planners began to create much better plans that moved inventory back into target on a SKU level, and they were executable by plant operations. Conformance number three was our production conformance, and this measures how well the plants are producing to our plan. All the tracking and improvement of signals and plans were great, but our ability to execute flawlessly at the plants ultimately determined if we could be successful. We started measuring absolute production at the skew mix level, highlighting chronic issues such as lack of trust in the forecast, communication breakdowns, and competing objectives across teams. Once we could use metrics and hard facts to align our teams and hold all parties accountable for producing to a plan, production accuracy improved. This brings us to our fourth conformance, which is inventory conformance. And this is, do we have what the customer wants when they want it? At the end of the day, what mattered was getting our codes back to target and in mix. The inventory conformance is the culmination of the first three conformances, forecast, planning, and production. These are leading indicators that together combine to generate inventory conformance, a lagging indicator, and a good indication of Halyard's supply chain health. 
You can see when the four conformances work in harmony, they lead to improved results shown by what we achieved in service and inventory in 2016. Results were amazing. Inventories were decreased by nearly $40 million, and at the same time, open back orders dropped below a $1 million for several weeks. The trend has been sustained throughout the year. No time in our past history has both inventories and back orders aligned and decreased at the same time. We've been able to maintain this and stay in control. All of this would not be achievable without the tremendous effort of teamwork demonstrated by all. We should be proud of this achievement and improving our supply chain infrastructure so that Howard can continue to grow full steam ahead.